Oh boy, how do we handle anger? We get to deal with anger. All right, let's do that. Because the anger that you and I have held or are holding or will hold, guess what? That impacts us and it impacts those around us in ways that we can't even imagine. It's interesting when anger first flashes, it can be used really as a check engine light. But many of us, we just ignore it and we just hope it goes away. It doesn't. And what began as a spark now spreads into a raging fire that can destroy anything in its path. So most of us, I think we recognize anger is something that we have to get a handle on. And like many of us, these topics this summer, there are some good ways and some not so good ways to handle these topics. For example, when it comes to anger, a husband and wife, all right, we're discussing how to handle it. The husband says, hey, when I get mad at you, you never ever fight back. I just want to know, how do you control your anger? The wife's response, I clean the toilet. The husband asks, well, how does that help? Her answer, I use your toothbrush. <laughs> okay, let me go on record. Not a good way to handle anger. This passive aggressive approach is not helpful. The Bible it has some much better ways on how to get a handle on anger. And again, because we all deal with anger, from little frustrations to abusive words to outbursts of rage, it's good for us to see what God wants. And wouldn't it be great to see what would happen if our family, if our church, our community, our country, our world, if we all learn how to handle anger God's way. So Paul says in Colossians 3, verse eight, now is the time to get rid of anger or rage or malicious behavior, slander and dirty language. So Paul says, hey, just get rid of it. Just stop it. <laughs> hey, but we know that's easier to say than do. David, that's too simplistic. Well, in some ways, it doesn't really matter how hard it is. We're still supposed to stop no matter what. What? Yes, just stop it. But let me give you a couple quick ways that might help. Number one, be honest. Look at yourself in the context of anger. Are you angry? Seriously, is this an issue for you? Is it an issue now? Is it an issue in your past? Secondly, be radical in dealing with sinful anger. Memorize some of these key scriptures about anger and you sense that's coming on, then you rehearse those verses in your mind or you read them out loud. God will help. Third, be praying. For those of you who are angry with or pray about the situation, pray for them, right? Pray for the situation. Confess your anger. Ask God, God, will you help me? Help me show your love. And remember this from Ephesians 4. Paul writes, do not let the sun go down on your anger. So what do you need to deal with today before the sun goes down? Hope you'll do that. Praying you will. Have a great day.